of my life, my entire whole life, has been exalted. In the name of Jesus, say no weapon from against me shall prosper. Any tongue that rise against me shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus, say tonight is a night of excitement because I have overcome the deeds of the enemy. Say the plotting of the enemy has been overcome by the supernatural power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Say I engage every snake, every serpentine spirit that cross my path. Tonight I have overcome in the name of Jesus. Say I am a victorious. Say I am a winner, not a loser. So no weapon from against me shall prosper. Say any tongue rise against me shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus. Say this day fought. My destiny is intact by the sovereigns of heaven. I am prevailing in Jesus' name. Clap your hands and make a joyful noise unto God. For the Bible says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities and powers. So as believers, we have to know the secret of the enemy. The right. Bible says, His workings are meant to destroy and not to, you know, do good. The heaven has declared that the deeds of the enemy is to see mankind falling. So enemy is not your friend. Are you here with me? Say the enemy is not my friend. So when you come together as Christians, as believers, we should believe that the enemy is here for war. And we are meant to contend against the enemy and win the battle. See, I hear you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter number 5, verse 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because you are the best way. The devil is ruling like a lion, seeking him he may devour. So that is the deeds of the enemy. Say the deeds of the enemy. I declare in the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands for me. I declare in the name of Jesus that any deeds as the word of God is going to be preceded. We use the word of God as a sword and a tool in the spirit to sabotage every forces and every agenda of the enemy concerning you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God arise in your life and let the enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. For the Bible also says, Behold, I give you the power to tread upon serpent. I declare that that word which has been already declared since creation was made, let it come to pass his will in Jesus' mighty name. Say, I hear you. Amen. Are you happy in the house? Are you happy in the house? Oh, church, are you happy in the house? Amen. Yeah. We came from the backside of the desert, which is Maryland. And I bring greetings to you in the name of Jesus and my church, King's Temple International. Amen. Amen. We are doing a great work in Maryland. Just recently, we have been able to lease a property and we have done our best. Hallelujah. Uh, God is filling the place. Amen. Oh, are you clapping your hands? Amen. Amen. Okay, now let me talk to you about something. It's just a simple, you know, sermon. I don't want to preach long. I want to just share with you a little scripture. Amen. And it talks about faith. Amen. So let's go straight to the scriptures right now, please. Take your Bible. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being here. I know you are here and your spirit is manifesting tonight. Use me, O God, to glorify your name. And those who are under the sound of my voice, bless them through your word. Let them not become the hearer of the word, but the doer of the word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. 
I've entitled my sermon Unveiling the Stronghold of Faith. Unveiling the Stronghold of Faith. You, you know, you have to have a pen to write this. Amen. Amen. Unveiling the Stronghold of Faith. I said something, I said that the same truth brings unto us breakthrough, brings us what? Breakthroughs. Amen. I said deliverance, favor, and greatness, prosperity, honor, glory, and what blessings comes through Christ. Through what? Through what? Through what? Through Christ. Amen. One thing I love this church, and I love to come here every now and then, is a faith-driven church. Amen. Amen. Any church that is about to be born, and it has that kind of faith-driven, believing that the Lord would definitely build this church, it will increase. Amen. It's a faith-driven church. Right. Amen. 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 And I'm seeing that no matter how it is, the Lord is bringing an increase. Amen. Are you here with me? Oh, oh, church, are you here? I said, the Lord is bringing increase. Amen. Amen. And one thing I will tell you is that there is no mountain anywhere. There is no mountain anywhere. A man's ignorance is his mountain. Amen. I said, a man's what? Ignorance is what? His mountain. The Bible says knowledge, at the end of it all, knowledge would be the king of all. Knowledge are increased. So what you have to know is knowledge is the acquisition of information. Mm -hmm. So the more you get information, the more you subdue the power of what? Ignorance. All right. Amen. Amen. And you cannot overcome the world or overcome the principalities and powers without knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Where knowledge is about, there is Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Where knowledge is, there is what? There is Christ. Knowledge means the information you have acquired. That you can use that information to express yourself out there. Amen. Amen. If the devil comes like a flood, the Bible says he will raise a standard against it. So if you are ignorant about the deeds of the devil, he comes against you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says that my people are perished for lack of what? Knowledge. Isaiah 5 13 also says my people have gone into captivity. Oh Jesus. Because they have no what? Knowledge. So the reason why in these days Christians are going through captivity, structure adjustment, disappointment, shame, reproach is because we lack knowledge. Say knowledge. knowledge. Say knowledge. knowledge. Say knowledge. knowledge. Hallelujah. So, 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 let's come in here. Without knowledge, you cannot what perform. Without knowledge, you cannot tap supernatural. Without knowledge, it is impossible to stand before devil and win. These days I've seen Christians doing warfare, but it is just empty warfare. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. They do warfare, and the warfare they do is not like they have anything tangible to show forth in the war field. But rather, what they do is, they do it because somebody is doing some. Because somebody is speaking in tongues, I have to speak in tongues. All right now. Because somebody is shouting, I have to shout. But the meaning of shouting and the meaning of tongue speaking and the meaning of prayer, we lacking. So we just do as our friends are doing. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you have the knowledge and you have wisdom about everything, it also boosts your faith and it boosts your standing in Christ Jesus. Oh, are you here with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We did not become pastors and prophets. What makes us pastors and prophets is what we know in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. And that is what has built our faith. So faith is not built by your own natural senses. Neither it builds by your own you know, you know, personal kind of ideas. 
it is not your complexes neither it is your own intellect it is spiritual you know in building you build up spiritually you have most holy faith based on your building through the word of god yes. hallelujah Amen. we go to the church of god our ways is just to receive and receive and receive but we don't know the secret of giving and giving and giving because the bible says that he that give it receive it amen so there are certain things that we must know tonight before you know i conclude my message amen my people have gone astray means they have they have they have gone apart they have fall behind the actual road they're supposed to be on just because they lack knowledge hallelujah amen. Tonight I see your knowledge being elevated. Amen. And I'll tell you the truth shall always be triumphant. The truth shall always be what? Triumph. Hallelujah. What is faith? It is what? The most potent force of the universe. Without faith. Without faith. My God. You cannot walk. Because anyone that walks, walk with faith. Even though you have legs. And you have mouth anyone that talks talks with faith hallelujah, hallelujah. if we're a christian and you are dry of faith the symptoms behind the dryness of faith is attractions of the demons and principalities coming to invade what god has deposited in you or the giftings of god the actual symptoms that follows lack of knowledge is disappointment, shame, reproach, setbacks, loneliness, a lot of things, disappointment, things that you are facing right now is what is the symptoms to what? Lack of faith. What is faith? The most potent force of the universe. The Lord spoke and said, let it be. And what? He came to pass. Let there be firmament. And the firmament came. He said, let there be waters. Let the waters separate from the waters. And it came to pass. He spoke by faith. Sister, you can speak for your husband to come. That's right. Come on. You can decree a thing and it shall surely come to pass. You don't have to see a prophet lay hands on you before you can. You know, you can speak the word and back with faith and it will work. It will work automatically. Are you here with me, church? Are you clapping your hands? For Listen to me. If you have faith as the master seed, you shall command what? Mountains and they will move mm -hmm. so that means mountains are still in your issue because you don't have even faith which has been grown to a master seed mm -hmm. prophet said God told me I'm going to be rich is that true he said this year 2015 things will be well with me is that true I don't believe it because all these prophets are liars. Whenever doubt begin to hit faith, faith give way for doubt to supersede. Because God has nothing to do with the spirit of doubt. Even though I am not there, as the prophet has spoken I base on the word of God and I believe I will surely fulfill my mission on earth and no weapon that form against me shall prosper I said build your faith say after me say I'll build my faith say I'll build my faith hallelujah Faith confesses divinity, oh my God, on humanity. 
faith confesses divinity or humanity. Faith confesses divinity on humanity. My God. John chapter 14 verse 12 says, Whosoever believeth, shall he do also. He that believeth. So faith produces believing. In fact, the sister to faith, sister faith, is believing. <laughs> so the sister to faith is believing. You know, it is what you believe that you get. If you believe your church will be 20,000 people within by three months' time, and you put effort to it, mandatory, you shall fulfill it. Amen. Oh, church, you are not here. Amen. That is what the Bible says, that faith without action is, is there. So you cannot have faith whilst you are just standing there and looking at me. Pastor Van said, I'm going to marry 2015. Meanwhile, you don't know how to dress. Faith without action is there. So the Bible says here in John 14 verse 12 that he who, oh my God, ever believe in me, the work I do. So faith corresponds with action. That's right. Say faith. Be attentive here. Say faith. Correspond with action. I remember when I came to America. So when I came here, I said, no, let me establish a branch of my ministry here. It's faith, hard faith. And I pushed the faith with what? With belief and action. And it worked for me. Faith without action is dead. I have faith in Christ. I believe God. He is a sovereignty. He is a king of kings. He is a lord of lords. And meanwhile, you don't believe, you don't, you don't apply it, and you don't enforce it with action. It doesn't work. Amen. Amen. What is faith? I say, say what? The most what? Potent force. And I have another definition of faith. What is faith? It is hearing from God. What is faith? Faith is by hearing and hearing the word of God. Is that right? Yeah. But I have my own definition. Faith is what? Hearing from God. In fact, it is better to hear from God. That gives you automatically, it gives you powerful faith or higher faith. Amen. Amen. What is faith? Hearing from God. Hearing from God. When Abraham heard from God that give your son Isaac he didn't go and read any Torah. Yeah. Automatically, he was able to deliver Isaac. Why? Because he heard from God. Tonight, you shall hear from God in Jesus' name. I said, tonight, you shall hear from God. I said, tonight, you shall hear from God. So we have a difference between hearing the word of God to build up your faith and hearing from him. I declare in the name of Jesus God who he, you know, will, will open your spiritual antenna Amen. to know the specific calling and the assignment God has given to you Amen. so you can build your faith on and base that you will never see any regret yeah. in your life say I hear you I, I see your life being changing Amen. the Bible says out of the mouth of sucklings and babes the Lord has ordained praise to silence the foe and the avenging. Let me tell you something. If you are in Christ, we're a new creation. All things are what pass away. These are some of the things that you must believe and build your faith on. Who is he that he created that it comes to pass when God has not commanded it? That is a, a very strong scripture in the Bible. Who is he that speaks a thing? Who is that old woman in your village? who have spoken against many generations of yours and now it's your turn for you to go through it and you allow it, it is impossible. Who is he that speaks a thing that comes to pass when God has not commanded it? 
any evil tendency, any evil attack against you tonight they are all packing their backs in the mighty name of Jesus because your faith is built hallelujah and you cannot build your faith on your boyfriend or build your faith on a humanity you build your faith on Christ cry the solid rock I stand all other grounds are sinking sound. So the very one you build your faith on, which is the earthly human, have nothing to give or to boost you on when it comes to your faith. What gives the faith potent is what trusting God and lean on God. That is your supernatural capability in terms of lifting yourself by human apprehension it will not work. But building your faith, most holy faith in Christ, that is what it. Oh my God! I, <laughs> hallelujah! Hallelujah! And I said, why faith is so powerful? Why faith is so potent? But human beings are acting impotent. <laughs> the most potent of the universe and human beings acting impotent how can your father be a lion and you give birth to a cockroach <laughs> oh church are you here with me <laughs> your father said you have a potent faith but you are acting like a cockroach in America you see things little, little, little. The Bible declared that think big, talk big. Yeah, that's right. Means everything you've not seen, decrease, speak it, yeah. as though you see it. Yeah. That is faith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing some greater doors opening yeah. and a revival in Atlanta. Yeah. The Lord is about to feel. Listen to me. Let me tell you something. When, when I was just sleeping in my hotel and. I asked myself why the white churches are growing mm. and uh, African-American churches are growing and when it comes to African uh, we coming from Nigeria and Ghana our church are dry and thin. and God said the people within the church okay. are the problem okay. Okay. hallelujah you're not clapping because you're one of them <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> amen the people within the church are the problem. True. There's not enough chairs here. Matthew 15. When, when you go deep here, the Canaanite woman, the Bible did not describe where he came from. She, she, she came from. So he came from Sidon. That's it. And saw them going and he followed. And the Bible did not specifically put exactly the woman stays and where the daughter was living. Mm. Look at the hands. And that woman was a Gentile. Yeah. Just imagine. In those days, a Gentile have no right to be a partaker of the blessings that belongs to the children of God. Until Christ goes to the cross, it is prohibited for a Gentile to be a partaker of the divine things that governs, uh, that, that is for the children of the Jews. But through faith and perseverance, and faith also work with perseverance and persistence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you lie low and you think that everything will go well with you, says that you are lying. You are lying. It is perseverance that breaks resistance. Yeah, that's right. Out of your perseverance breaks certain doors. We did not just become pastors and ministers. Oh, we have gone through something. What makes you a pastor is the experience you have right. in, in, in things of hardship you have overcome. The Bible says for what we have been through, for what we have experienced is what we preach about. Paul said it. For what we have seen and what we have experienced is what we are talking about. So if you have not reached that level, you cannot 
build your faith on there and start climbing into something. You, you don't just attain things anyhow in the things of God. There are some things that you have to go through. The woman built her faith, followed Jesus. Even though it was prohibited, it was a breach of law for a Gentile to be a partaker of what God has placed or blessed his people for. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Amen. Amen. Wave your hands unto God. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Let me be part of it. In the name of Jesus. The woman had a great faith. A Gentile. And you know that the book that was in the throne, that no angel could open that book, in the book of Revelation, nobody could open that book. It took Jesus to open the book. That book is assignment. All his job descriptions were on that book. And the angels cannot go and open because they know what is in there. It took Jesus to open the book. He said, send me, I will go. So the descriptions and the job description has been already been read before Jesus was born. All what Jesus was coming to do on earth was declared to him and he knows it. That's why at times he would tell the mother, my time has not yet come. Yeah. The man knows who he will touch, and the person will be healed. He knows where he should go. He, oh, he read to a Lazarus time, and Lazarus, someone was sent from Lazarus' house to go and speak to Jesus. That Jesus, come back. Where you, you know, come back. Your, your, your friend Lazarus is dying. It was meant for him to die. So, oh Jesus. He knows the time and the season. So everything that Jesus accomplished on earth here. It was like a video they showed to him before he was born. And if heaven assigned any decree, like America assigned any law, and in the law they say every illegal immigrant and every immigrant, even though you are born here, but as you have a color black, you must look anywhere everywhere you can just pass just find somewhere to run away because we you, when they find they'll kill you won't you run away the government has predicted something he said this law i insist now all right i, I fulfill this law I, I endorse this law that every black race should be running from here in fact you run you will not take plane run <laughs> amen <laughs> Because if you don't go, they will bring ISIS to come here and kill you. Won't you run? Hallelujah. You will run immediately. Why? Because that is the law. That has been what? Endorsed. They endorsed. So Jesus' mission was endorsed by heaven. Say endorsed. For a woman who is a Gentile, who did not know anything about the law of the Jews. And this woman was following Jesus from afar, from Sidon. Determined persistently. Following Jesus with a determination, I'll have my miracle. Yeah. I will turn the law which has been there for ages. That the bread belongs to the chosen ones, not us. I will turn the law today. You can turn laws, sister. I don't know the curse your mother put on you. I don't know who cursed you from your mother's background. I don't know who cursed you from your father's background. I don't know who went to that fetish priest at the village and asked your mom, generation or the race of your mom, to be in debt and disappointment. That law, when it comes to your turn, it must change. I said you can change that law. Hallelujah. Even though you were not there when the law was erected, but you have the efficacy and the potency of the word of God at hand. And you can execute warrant. Say warrant. You can cause a warrant. You can send the angels in heaven for a warrant to arrest the powers that be who are 
have been opposing your family for years in your generation it shall not come near you because Christ in you the hope of glory hallelujah we are a bona fide children of God he said I would determine say our purpose in my heart if you purpose in your heart brother sister you don't let those things disturb you you must be actively in the things of God it's a breach of law to exchange your bed right for just second job on Sunday so your faith is weakened that's why the devil come close to you he slap you and say hello are you okay <laughs> How can a devil slap you? And look at you and say, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> if you behave, I'll slap you again. A devil telling you that if you behave, I'll slap you again. Because you are very weak. Somebody told me, I saw a worm chasing me in the dream. I say, hey, not a snake, a worm. Hallelujah. And what do you do to the worm? He said that. Uh, I started running away because he was chasing me in fact. I don't know what to do. I said, where am chasing you in dreams? No snake means you are very weak. The devil no look into your standard in the spirit, looks into your spiritual stamina and bring in a demon that will qualify your stamina to bring a worm. <laughs> Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. So, the woman that I'm talking about, thank you, Jesus. Bishop, the woman I'm talking about persistently got a miracle. Yes. A Gentile. Kado Sikit Yanda. You will get your miracle tonight. Amen. It's for those who say amen. amen. I said, you will get your miracle tonight. Whoever has turned your destiny to disgrace and shame, they will swallow the disgrace and shame. And you will be, oh my God, you are not here. You will be catapulted from madly clay and established upon the rock to stand. Faith is not a principle we try to use. Faith empower us to command. The woman commanded faith empower us to command you can command things to happen hallelujah you have a command to bring it to pass oh are you here with me church yeah. hallelujah you can look at someone you love so much who has been single for so long come to your work premises every now and then greet you hello sweetie pass by claim the person by faith Oh Jesus, what are here? Hallelujah. You have been sitting for long. You have been yearning for long. You look so nice, but no one come close to you. Claim the person by faith. Hallelujah. That is how it is. Hallelujah. So the woman just claimed the thing. So Gentile. Who is Gentile? We are not part. Partaker of what? Divine blessings of God. We supposed to wait for Jesus to die and go on the cross. And when he resurrected, then now we are, we are now become a partaker. But the woman said, I will not wait. Don't wait to. I won't wait for you to die before I claim it. <laughs> Who told you you can't get a green card? Who told you? You know it is illegal for you to live in your father's land. And a human being tells you to go home. Go to where you, you, you came from. I turn they write your letter and say, that, unfortunately for you, you will be denied. And you are laughing. You must claim it by force. 
I will talk to you about sermon of entitled sacrifice. Next time when I come, it's a deep word. The reason why you are broke, I will teach you. You are broke because you don't give. And the secret of man's success is not about how intellectual you are. So how deep you are in giving. Because where your treasures are is where your heart is. So your heart is connected to God based on what you have been doing for God. Oh, wow. So the woman persevered. Say persevered. And then, you know that times when you build your faith, people try to discourage you. Times you build your faith, you want to get about 50,000 people within a year in your church. And before you get to know, somebody is fighting your church. Amen. Amen. It is a shaking. It's a wind. It's a wind. As far as you endure, when you can endure, that is the problem. But if you can endure, there is a possibility that you will come it. Amen. Hallelujah. The disciple said, leave us. You woman who have been shouting, 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 following us. Get out from here. But the more they drive her away, the more he shout aloud. This is where the issue is. We are being condemned by some people's decrees and what they say against you. So it weakens your faith of believing that you will get what you are asking for. And let me tell you, it will not go smooth. In every world, there is a crooked path. You build on faith on nothing else by Christ Jesus. When Christ in you, the hope of glory. Bible says, out of your belly flows rivers of living waters. The woman had a faith and stood on his feet. The Bible says, when he shouted, he said, son of David. Anytime, I have two people who have mentioned son of David. And Jesus will never go without attending to them. The 5,000 people, everybody had the name he called. Jesus, Joseph's son, have mercy. And your faith is built based on the zealousness and capability of your voice. And you know, if you don't have power voice, you cannot be heard. Means your action speaks louder than what words. Pray, begin to pray. Be persistent coming to church. Always be in the line with God. That is where your faith will be built. Always stand in his holy faith. Then you will see his glory. I have never seen Anyone who is in, 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 his, in his kingdom that suffered. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Yeah. So your faith is based on the word of God. The word of God is too living, active, and sharper than double-edged sword. Kadisa katara babosha. I declare your faith. Boosting faith. I declare your faith. Elevated tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You need a testimony to build up. Lift up your hands. Now stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord. Lift up your hands and let's begin to pray. Lakuna Masetea. Speak in tongues right now. Speak in tongues right now. Speak in tongues right now. Kadobo Shahata Rabaya. Hila Kadi Sakatada Babo Hinta Yandesha. Rimaka Sekantara Babo Hebranto Sekete de Bianda. Rinandi Basukatara Babo Hebranto Sekabaya. Lift up your hands and pray. Kai, 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 Kai. I ask for you, O God, for great faith. 
for great faith for great faith for great faith for great faith begin to pray right now say in the name of jesus lift up your hands up 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 say in the name of jesus i can't hear you say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus any disappointment be bold just be active okay say any disappointment in my life die by fire stand well stand well we're going to pray be very active. amen say in the name of jesus every evil proceeding curses against me in 2015 is bound right now by the power of god whenever you confess begin to make a noise and a shout unto god amen it's a victory sound say in the name of jesus the faith i have in christ i exercise it right now by the dominion of the blood of Christ. i declare from the heaven perspective any evil contending against my future die by fire As I was praying, listen, Bishop, well, as I was praying, I saw, who is called Brian here? Brian. You have a friend called Brian or something like, Brian. Who is that? Wow. I saw an accident in the spirit. Who is called, I see uh, something like in the spirit, I saw Brian. Okay, say okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Is, that's the name. I saw an accident. Come here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Stretch your hands. Makataya Tosha. I think... Oh, are you here? He's the miracle working God. Lift up your hands away. He's the miracle. Come here, come, 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 come. He's the Alpha. And I'm Stretch your hands and let's pray. He's the miracle. Where's your husband? Where's your husband? He went to work. He went to work. I saw an accident in the spirit. I saw parkway, something like a park, park, park highway, something like a highway, something like a highway, something. I saw bride, something like a bridal, whatever it is. But I saw, what is that? Bridal Point Parkway. Bridal what? Bridal Point Parkway. It's our address. That's your address. I, I saw that they've carried something like a dead body to that house. Stretch your hands. Whoever is contending against your husband, there is a dream your husband had. And I want to fight it. Amen. I saw a dead warrant, and I saw something like an Igbo, Igbo, something like a Nigeria. He's an Igbo. Yes. He's an Igbo. He's an Igbo. Yes. He's the Alpha and Omega. Are you clapping your hands now? He's the miracle. Stretch your hands now. He's the Alpha and Omega. Stand here for me. He's the miracle. He's the Alpha and Omega. Hey, he's a miracle with your hands. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle. You know, I don't know where your husband comes, but I saw in the spirit that. There is these people who wear gold with a red hat. And there is these feathers on their. They said, We have gotten him, and the dead body is coming home. But tonight, we send the dead warrant to the very one who erected the dead for your husband but I know I don't know these things I don't know he's come from Igbo I don't know anything is that right right okay now the Lord is telling me this I don't know I felt in the spirit that the angel, no God is so wonderful yes oh thank you Lord there are some angels in the house with your hands he's the alpha with your hands worship hey, no, thank you Lord He's the miracle working God. He's the Alpha. And with your hands and worship. He's the miracle working God. 
him God. Because what I heard was this. I heard that they said, why is it that he don't want to come home? Why is it that he don't want to come home? I saw Alex. Alex, who is Alex here? Could be a friend you know, Alex. 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 Who have a friend called Alex here? Alex. Yeah. Who is that? You know someone called Alex? Who is that? Oh my God. You know someone like that? I see the same thing in Alex's life. I see in Tifo. In Tifo. And I cancel that death. Is it you? I'm Alex Intifo. Alex Intifo. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you a member of this church? Huh? No. Who invited you? Uh, Mrs. Uh, Yankee. So you invited him. Do I know you? And you came today. So you came yesterday. Did I talk to you? Uh, you blessed me. I just laid my hands on you. Yeah. Did I ask you anything? No. Did I ask your name? No. Okay. Stretch your hands. Yeah. So that means that when I was touching everybody, I touched him. Is that right? Wow. Do you know what I saw? There's a package as an apostolic call over you. Yeah. Stretch your hands. There is a package of what? An apostolic call. It's like a call that has been entrusted in the life of you. Amen. But I see somewhere Sunyani, Sunyani, Sunyani. But the thing is from infantry area. And they send the thing to Nkoko. It's a ritual they performed a long time ago. And God said, I should break that thing and set you free. Whoever send your descendants into anywhere in Koko area to destroy your family descendants, you are set free. Yeah. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You have been set free. Yeah. Ah, is he a new here? Or you have been here for some time? Are you married? You're not married. Get married very soon. Neither. May heaven begin to reward you. Amen. You know, let me do things very quick, then we close because time is going now. I'm coming back on Thursday, okay? And then we'll continue from there. You are blessed. Do you want to be a pastor? It's too hard for you. Uh, yeah. It's too hard. Uh, I will. Uh, you will. Yeah. I'd stretch your hands towards him. Stretch your hands towards him. You shall see his end. Amen. You shall see his end because I saw the mark of the calling on you. Amen. For he who does stands in his holy place, the Lord mark he. May your days be long and may you fulfill the destiny fully. In riches and in glory, may you see hands of the Lord upon you. Be a church goer and be committed to church. Your call is what? Apostleship. I ordain you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands for Jesus. Christ. He is the Alpha. Clap your hands now. Hey, no, he is the miracle. Work it. your hands. My spirit. Magnify the Lord. Oh, and my soul praise His name. For oh, death could not hold you captive, even the grave. She says in His Lord. For oh, death could not hold you. Even in the grave, she says she will love my spirit, which magnifies the Lord. 
my soul praise his name even death could not hold you captive even a grave Jesus you are the Lord even death could not hold you captive Jesus, you are the 